What's up, you movie-loving freaks, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare for another quickie and another movie haul. Uh, I've got a shit ton of stuff coming in, so there's going to be a bunch of different movie hauls going on. A lot of great sales, couldn't resist, so I got a lot of awesome films to show you guys. But right now, it's going to be the Kino Lorber uh, movie haul. They just had a sale, uh, got a whole bunch of shit. And then I went back for seconds, so that's coming later on. But uh, a lot of great stuff. But let's dive into part one of the Kino Lorber Sale Movie Hall. First up is... Uh, I don't even know how to describe this one because I haven't really seen it. But I was intrigued. Saw a little bit of the trailer. Didn't give too much of it away. But it just looks like a wacky, grindhouse-looking 70s film. And the movie I'm talking about is Devil's Express. It, it looks insane. In fact, I probably will watch it tonight after doing this video. Because it just looks entertaining as all hell. Uh, it's a Code Red release. Uh, I know Kino's got a whole bunch of those ones on their site. Uh, I pick up as many as I can because the Code Red stuff always goes right straight out of print. And they're always so hard to come by. But um, I was waiting out for this one. They announced it, uh, I think, mid-year last year. And, um, yeah, I was like, got to get it. And here it is, because um, I think the old um, out-of-print version is pretty expensive. This one was, I think they were going on sale for like $9 or something like that. But Devil's Express looks like a kind of crazy black exploitation kind of 70s kung fu uh, monster film. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. But that's the first one. Let's move on to this one. It's another strange oddity that I've never seen before. Kind of a... Uh, blind buy, but I did a little bit of research on it just to see what it's like, but it's just a crazy looking flick monster movie um, This one came out in the uh, Late 70s 1977 and it is a great title Slithis <laughs> And that's a little Slithis, I guess I don't know But uh, another one that I want to check out as soon as possible because it just looks really crazy um, Another one of the films that kind of slipped by I never really got a chance to check it out for myself but um, now I get to see it. And um, the tagline is the best on this. Hell hath no fury like Slithis. Um, some more cool monster looking imagery back there. But it looks like just a batshit crazy late 70s sci-fi kind of monster movie. And that is right up my alley. So really looking forward to checking this one out for the first time. Never owned it before. Uh, first time it's in the collection. But let's keep moving along. Um, I don't believe I've seen this one, but I get a lot of um, Jess Franco's movies mixed up because there's so many of them and they have so many similar titles. Um, but I do not believe I've seen this one before. And it is the Diabolical Dr. Z. And I'm not even sure if I own this somewhere because I have so many different uh, Jess Franco films. Um, I don't believe I own it on DVD already, but if I do, this is an upgrade because I know I don't own it on Blu-ray. But um, Redemption put this sweet baby out. Um, they have some pretty good... I mean, they mostly have a lot of Jess Franco. Uh, Jess Franco's catalog. But um, looks pretty cool. Black and white kind of crazy mad doctor flick. Uh, just looks like a fun little interesting horror film. So. And Jess Franco's always good for something. I mean, whether it's perverse or just strange and weird and unusual, he's, he's good for a good oddity film. So... This is the Diabol Diabolical Dr. Z. And yeah, another one I have not seen before. So this is, this is a good catching up session I have with all these films. And up next is another one I haven't seen before. But I figured I would pick it up because it looks like it's got a little bit of a thriller, giallo kind of uh, horror style to it. Uh, the movie is And Soon the Darkness. Oh my goodness. But um... Yeah, I, it was kind of, because I, I bought so much uh, Kino Lorber in the past from their sales that I, when they have those sales, I almost own most of them anyways. And so I got to kind of branch out and see films that I don't really know too much about. But um, this is one of them where I'm just kind of, didn't really do any research at all, but I figured I would pick it up and check it out because it just looks interesting and yeah, looks interesting. <laughs> uh, Robert Fust directed it but um 
Oh, he directed the abominable Dr. Fives, so that's a damn good movie, so. And soon the darkness looks like it's gonna be another winner in the pickup here. But let's keep moving along. Just have a few more in this first haul from the sale. This one, uh, I own the first movie, and this one's a double feature with parts two and three in it. And it's a boner comedy, uh, an 80s boner comedy. <laughs> uh, it is Porky's 2 and Porky's Revenge. And I think I've only seen Porky's 1. I don't know if I've seen 2. I know I've not seen 3. But I don't know if maybe Porky's 2 was on TV once and I kind of got it mixed up when I was younger. Thinking it was Porky's 1. But, yep. Porky's 2 and 3. And I have Porky's 1 way over there in the comedy section. Um, so, I'm going to put that right next to it. And maybe have a triple feature Porky's Night. Oh my goodness. Let the depravity and pervert comedy commence. But let's move on to the next one. Um, this one I actually did a video review. Um, it's probably early last year or maybe even two years ago. I just don't know, time's flying. Um, but it is a Sergio Martino film. And it's a hell of a lot of fun. Never owned it before in the collection. So this is a fir first time um, pickup here. And it is The Great Alligator. And this one is really fun. A really uh, just well done movie. Um, even the effects of the alligator are pretty good. It's just the whole atmosphere is cool. The characters are really neat. The whole setting in this kind of uh, tropical resort that they're kind of in the middle of these Everglade like alligator infested waters. And wouldn't you know it just shit hits the fan. Uh, natives go crazy. It's just a really cool film. Um, and like I said, the cast is awesome. Barbara Box in it, uh, looking great. Melfer is, um, he's the, uh, the, the, the guy who's running the resort. And he's just, he's kind of like the mayor in Jaws, you know, like, oh, there's no problem here, blah, blah, that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, just a really, really cool movie. And glad I have it in the collection, finally. Uh, the Great Alligator, fun, fun Italian kind of sleazy monster flick. Or creature feature, if you want to consider the alligator a creature feature kind of thing. But uh, really good stuff. Um, up next, oh my, is a, um, looks like it's a kind of witchcraft horror film um, that I have not seen before. And kind of just saw it was in the sale and said, hey, now's a good time than ever to pick it up for myself. And the movie I'm talking about is Burn Witch Burn. And don't really know too much about this, um, but I mean, it definitely looks like a Hammer kind of film, but it's not. It's uh, American International put it out, but uh, definitely looks cool. Kind of classy black and white kind of photography there. Yeah, I'm really digging just like the synopsis and everything. So looking forward to checking this one out for the first time. Never owned it before. So this is kind of another first in the collection. So a lot of first... A lot of firsts in this haul. Well, let's keep rolling to another movie I haven't seen before. <laughs> a lot of firsts. Um, do not own it, I believe, in any format. So this is a good pickup. But it's one of those 60s sci-fi kind of really trippy kind of concepts. It is They Came From Beyond Space. And it looks like a bunch of chicks. <laughs> Came from beyond space and they're invading earth and trying to take over and i just think it's going to be fun as hell to check this one out so when i'm feeling down someday i'm just going to put this baby in and let it take me off to 60s sci-fi land but um yeah it just looks like a lot of fun uh again don't know much about it uh kind of a blind buy pickup but um love 60s sci-fi so i you really even the even the shittiest 60s sci-fi i appreciate so bring it on but last but not not least in this kino lorver movie hall part one is a really really great um 80s adventure kind of a uh, little bit of comedy and stuff in there but um the movie is my science project and this one has been a long time coming in the collection um I don't know if it's even out on DVD anywhere. I think this is the first time it's even available on home video. But um, an amazing film. Great cast. 
Um, the whole concept's crazy. Uh, I don't even want, I don't even have to even begin, but it's just pretty much, I don't even, I, I'm not even going to say it. It's just crazy stuff happens when these people <laughs> find this thing and their school kind of turns into like this time traveling dimensional kind of zone where dinosaurs show up and it's just ins it's insane but it's a lot of fun the characters are fun the concepts fun uh Dennis Hopper's in it plays one of the teachers and he's just baked out of his mind and uh Fisher Stevens is one of the students and John Stockwell from Christine is in this in the main role right there so it's a really really great cast just a fun movie in general and one that I'm really happy to actually have in the collection finally because I love 80s movies and like 80s uh, like adventure comedy kind of things like that and sci-fi and fantasy all mixed in one. Love the whole concept and love that it's finally in the collection. But that is my part one of the sale. Like I said, I went back for seconds because I couldn't resist. And um, but this is this is part one and part two, I think, is one, two, three, four. Yeah, I got nine more coming in part two, so stay tuned for that. Um, should be coming in the mail sometime next week because Kino's like super fast on sending stuff out. But um, boom, that is part one of the Kino Lorber sale. A lot of great stuff. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I uh, hope you like what I'm doing here. Uh, if you do, like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below. If you uh, bought anything from the sale, let me know what you guys got. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time when I get in front of a camera and talk about movies. But uh, take care, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.